And greetings. Just a quick one from me to let you know that OpenSense 24.1.9 was released yesterday on June the 18th. The hot fix did drop for it this morning on June the 19th. So it is available for update. I'm going to have a quick walk through the update notes and then we'll do a live upgrade on a system. Sheridan Computers. IT. Communications. Support. Over on OpenSense Forum. So Franco posted an update yesterday, 24.1.9 released on June the 18th, 2024 at 10.25am. And he says this is the last bit of preparation for the upcoming 24.7 series, so that's the one that's based on FreeBSD 14.1. Re-implementing one to one NAT using MVC API and a number of plumbing changes. IPv6 has also been improved with the DHCP6C client, client having received a number of new fixes and features. Under the full patch notes, I'm not going to go through them too much. Um, so we've got migrate one to one NAT to MVC API. There's some um, backup script replacements with functions, uh, add plugin CTL modes for digesting XML RPC options and um, prevent creating interface route without an address. So under interfaces, we've got various SLAAC changes, uh, disable IPv6 interface modes when IPv6 is disabled globally. Um, avoid plugin CTL giving out IPv4 info for non-interfaces. Under DHC relay, add logging into its own space. For firmware, changes to the default fetch of change log to 30 seconds and dump TLS information for firmware servers in use. Um, there's a couple of changes to ISC, DHCP and Kia. So allow root domain input as full stop. And under Kia, we've got support static DNS mappings. Uh, the MVCs refactored and improved the check and throw save delete as check and throw value in use. Uh, under UI, prevent word breaking for top level menus. Uh, and then under the plugins, OS Caddy's been updated, Curl's been updated, DHCP6C's been updated, um, NSS stuff's been updated, Open LDAP, Open SSL, PHP's been updated to 8.2.20, Pi DuckDB 1.00, uh, and Pi Net Address has been updated and finally sql light has been uh, updated and then just as a footnote it does say the hot fix was released today as of 24.1.9 underscore one which fixes the firewall not reflection rule attribute missing in the mvc api migration so i'm going to head across now to uh, OpenSense, and we'll do an update and see what happens we're logged into OpenSense, so we can uh, click to view pending updates uh so now we've got the update notes, which is what I've basically just read through. And we'll go ahead and do the update. So it's just fetching the packages. So it's just extracting all the package information. So you can see it's running some migrations there already. Um, and we appear to be done. So if I head back to the top, status, check for updates. No updates, we're all good. So it didn't um, require a reboot this update, but I am going to do a reboot just for uh, good practice. So it seems to have gone fine. Let me just uh, add to the reboot the system. So if we go down to power, reboot, and sure you want to reboot. Yep. We've rebooted. So I'm going to go ahead and log back in. And everything seems fine. Um, so I'll go ahead and give it some more testing, but I can't see any issues arising from that update. Um, switch back over. So this was really just to uh, inform you that open says 24.1.9 was released uh, and the hot fix so if you've uh, updated yesterday you'll want to update again today to uh, get that hot fix addressed um stay tuned for more videos thanks for following and i'll see you in the next video